There's been absolutely nothing but radio silence from NBA 2K the last few months. And it's odd. We don't, we don't usually get that, especially March. March? Man, I haven't heard a developer say not a goddamn thing about the game for months. I don't know where they're at or what they're doing, what they could be working on. But there's a lot that's different about this 2K cycle relative to any other one we've had in history. And I want to talk about it. But before we get to that, ladies and gentlemen, I created a second channel. It's where I'm going to upload weird things like my $1,000 foot race versus low or random moments videos or build videos that I otherwise wouldn't be posting on this channel. Most likely going to drop all my weight loss updates over there because I don't feel like doing them on Instagram anymore. The link is at the top of the description. If you guys like the content here on this channel, you're going to like the content over there on that channel. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe. I'm probably going to drop my first video in about a week. And on top of that, AMP just dropped a new video. Yo, that first AMP video, keep in mind, it's a group channel with me, Duke, Davis, and Phantom. Y'all showed so much goddamn love, man. The channel is already at 100,000 subscribers. Y'all, man, y'all the greatest. Thank you guys so much for showing love. Second channel link at the top of the description and the link to the new AMP video that just dropped. Yeah, we're gonna be dropping those weekly on the Mondays, so go ahead, check that out. All right, man, all right, let's get into it. 2K, what's going on? During summer, like March, April, May, I kind of expect it to be a little bit more quiet. Yes. But in January and February, we still weren't hearing anything. In fact, the only active person in the NBA 2K sphere right now is Ronnie 2K. He's doing like these daily streams and the main 2K Twitter account won't stop tweeting about it. That's the only reason why I know. But I haven't heard a thing from Scott O'Gallagher, from Baluba, from Mike Stealth. Yo, it's nothing, it's silence. Okay, cool, hold on now. Every year, around this time of year, we're still seeing updates for the game. And not like a final patch, because every 2K gets that final patch where 2K is just ready to put everything in cruise control and coast for the remainder of the year. We're not at that point yet, or at least we shouldn't be. But for months, we haven't really heard anything about any new content. And I'm not talking about the new clothes that just dropped over there at Swags, man. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about the new jersey that dropped in the NBA store, nope. Because the only mode right now that's getting content regularly is my team and my team's getting new packs with new players dropping every two to three days at this point they have these new challenges to complete to unlock this player there's a new this and there's new that and yo my team right now is getting a ton of updates and as a person who has never engaged in my team since 2k16 how about us man what's going on over here we don't get updates on this side like a gameplay update how are we gonna make the gameplay a little bit more interesting how about that or it could just be like the art team designing like a new like yo give us a new neighborhood like a new park to something because there are some bright spots like the park event rotation has been cool i know some people care about that to me everyone that wins is most no not everyone i don't want to say that <laughs> most people that win i just assume they cheated all right <laughs> So I can't really, I don't really want to play in those. They just took the snow out of the park, guys, two weeks ago. That's the update we got. They took the snow out of the park. <laughs> Let's go. I think 2K thought when we were asking for new parks that they meant like just a variation of the same park, but with like designs on it. No, 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 no. That's not what we meant. 2K, what we meant was like a new park, like entirely new, not the same in square with the same stores with the same names with the same items like a whole new thing like the shape of the place has to be different you can't just take the scale of one thing and then put different textures on it and call it a new park that's a lie i mean that's besides the point at this point right now this is what i'm predicting i don't think we're gonna get any updates i'm gonna be honest with you because if we were we'd be hearing some murmurs a couple tweets here or there now granted I remember the problem we had in 2K19 was it was a lot of changes. Like Mike Wang was playing discotheque with the servers like this and we couldn't get no consistency. One day the contest is like this, the next day it's like that. This was about the time of year where I released this video. A lot of people tend to quote realism when they're talking about changes they wanna to make to the game, but realism wouldn't work because a pure sharp, what, Stephen Curry, he shoots over defenders all the time. And you don't see pure sharps arguing that they deserve to shoot contested shots. Like I was literally walking through a blizzard in Toronto talking about the stretch versus ISO debate. And the devs were actively participating in that because they wanted to get the balance right on the game but 2k20 dead silence granted that's kind of what the developers wanted they didn't want to do too many changes with the game because people were sick of that the past few years but at the same time nothing we're not gonna get no changes what are you gonna tell me that was a compromise <laughs> 
But more than that, on the things that 2K20 was supposed to be like, one of the, like, there was some exciting features that 2K20 announced. Boom, exciting feature here. Like the overall fluctuations, for example. That was one of the things I was excited about. Turns out the system made no sense and there was no attempt to at least try and balance it. You could have a spectacular game and go down overall. But more than that, it has The Last of Us Syndrome. The Last of Us Syndrome is something, um, how do I explain this? It's like when you don't want to try. Sometimes you just want to kick back, but you have to try or else there's going to be severe negative consequences for you in the game. In The Last of Us, you couldn't have a game where you didn't try or all that progress you made to building up your clan wiped out. 2K, you can't even f around with your friends and have a fun game because the overall you worked hard on, pow! Out of there! There needs to be a ranked mode if you're gonna have a system like that. Or at least, if, the, if that's not gonna be the case, at least make it so that the system makes sense. So that when you do have a spectacular game, you're not going down, and when you have a bum-ass game, you're not going up. There was no attempt to make adjustments with that system, and so that's what I'm talking about. Why has there been like no patch to help like address that? And like, just to solve the problem. And the same goes with plenty of badges. There's badges we all agree should not exist. Like quick draw, Take it out, guys. Take out Quick Draw. And I get the devs didn't want to make too many changes. It was a decision they made off the rip, and they didn't want to just flip flop on those decisions over the course of the year. I understand. But at the same time, there is a badge called Bailout that literally encourages garbage basketball. If you go up with a shot, you should not then be granted incredible powers to do cross court passes, bullet passes, by the way, directly to the corner. That's bull. That badge should not exist. So it's things like that where um, I'm asking myself, it's March and we're not hearing anything about the game, even though it's not perfect. In fact, I'd argue the game is far from perfect. So far from perfect, it could probably see, I'm not gonna go there, actually, I'm not gonna go there. Okay, so, I mean, let's deal with the facts though. This launch for 2K is unlike any launch they've had before. First of all, the Roni is hitting it, right? Everybody's indoors because the Roni is kicking it outside. If we're being honest, 2K could barely release the game on schedule without a pandemic. So now that everyone's probably either not working or working from home, we could safely assume that it's gonna be even more challenging for them to meet the deadline for whenever they intended to launch 2K21. Which means that any plans they may have had for releasing content this year for NBA 2K20 probably went out the window when they realized they have infinite other problems to deal with now. Cause they're on a tight schedule and the developers have said before, just, just wasting one or two days would throw everything into a spiral. Cause they have to meet deadlines. At the end of the day, there's a day they want the game to release. And sometimes whether it's finished or it's not, yo, the shit is dropping my guys. They're just gonna deal with it with patches when the game comes out. And then on top of all of that, next year's game is all supposed to come with a new generation of consoles. So we just seen PlayStation come out with all their crazy specs. Yo, the nerd went into so many details and I actually thought it was kind of fascinating about all the teraflops and the SSD integration. It turns out the Xbox has better specs in every imagination of the word. <laughs> All saying this to say that it's a new generation of consoles. That means 2K's gonna have to make games for the PS4 and PS and the Xbox One, but also for these new consoles. So that means they have even more work to do. I have no idea how they're gonna pull it off. I actually don't know. Well, I do know they would have to hire more developers, but What's the chances they're gonna do that all of a sudden? Granted, I am a little bit optimistic on a side note because I feel like a lot of the issues I have with this 2K is because of the limitations of this old ass hardware sitting in our consoles, which is why I always believe that the best version of NBA 2K should have always been on the PC. And every time I hear that 2K is doing, like this year they're partnering with Xbox for some exclusive content or PS4, it just makes me a little bit sad because I know that that's how a lot of games make money is that exclusive content or exclusive releases. Cool. But that also means that they can't partner with PlayStation and then drop an incredibly superior version of the game on PC. So the reality is, is the PC version is always gonna be dumbed down. It always has the most potential because you can just keep upgrading your PC. There's no limits. You can just change the settings if you don't have a great PC. So every PC game works. And so they just work with very little limitations on people's hardware. That being said, I am excited that uh, hopefully all the frame drop issues, hopefully some of the server issues, hopefully the loading times, all that stuff is gonna be solved with the next generation. Hopefully some of the optimization too, just when it comes to like the playground, the neighborhood, they have like more options. I don't know what it is about 2K, man, but they either they don't know how to optimize
optimize. Yeah, they just don't. They don't know how to optimize their game. Bro, GTA 5 has this massive fucking world. And you mean to tell me this small itty bitty neighborhood right here has more graphical issues? Are you kidding me? That being said, you might be saying, oh, Agent, we do see now that 2K has a lot of hurdles to deal with this year. But there's more. They just committed to, to releasing NFL 2K. You don't think that 2K is gonna take some of the NBA guys and put them over here on this side for the NFL 2K, right? Because 2K, Grant, they have very talented developers. If they didn't, the game would look like NBA Live. We all know that. So I'm just saying, in my mind, it would make sense to at least put some of the guys here in the NBA 2K team over here on the NFL 2K team to give it some direction. So then when you consider all of those things, you begin to get really pessimistic about the potential for them to release any new content for NBA 2K20. And I understand it. I'm not mad at it. I get that on my team, it, you could just have one guy at home create a graphic and then create the attributes and then throw out a card into my team. It's not hard. And it's easy to come out with like new, new era collabs in the neighborhood. That's the easy stuff to do and it generates money so it makes sense for 2K to continue to do it. The gameplay stuff, the new park stuff, that's hard. Not that it's hard, but it just requires way more resources. And as we just established throughout the course of this video, it seems to be something they're lacking. Now here on this channel, we all know the real answer. Had they hired more developers, they could have solved a lot of these issues. And it's not like they don't have the capability of doing that. In the last 2K drama alert, I covered this graphic here that detailed highest launch month sales of any sports title in history. Instantly becomes the best selling game of 2019 year to date. NBA 2K surpasses Guitar Hero to become the sixth best selling video game franchise in history. That on top of the fact that there's yearly launches, so that means they're making that money on a yearly basis. Yeah, it's, they're not strapped for cash, my guys. It's not like they're, they're struggling. Like, yo, Take Two is doing incredible right now. And in the face of a pretty ugly recession that might be coming up, they're one of the few publishers that I don't really have a concern about how they're gonna make it through. Cause they have so many money making machines consistently where it's not like hit or miss games for them. So, um, developers, say something, man. Well, yo, I miss seeing tweets from you guys about things that's gonna be different or updates or changes something about the game. I might have to f around and play my team. And I don't wanna have to do that. I haven't played my team in four years, man. But when I used to play my team, I was a beast. <laughs> Just being honest with you guys, I was a beast, you know what I mean? Man, I'm not gonna lie to you, in the worst timeline, I could see NBA 2K being delayed because they wasn't out, be able to get it out in time. And that's just not a timeline that I can live with. <laughs> Now, I'm not saying they need to announce everything they know, because obviously they're working on plenty of stuff behind the scenes. But hey, give us something, man. Like, is an update coming? Like, yo, say something about it. So that being said, I am working on some new builds that I can throw into the Pro-Am so you guys can see some new videos over there. Because I'm just stuck at home, to be honest. So I have really nothing to do but play games and make videos. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are new and you like these types of videos, be sure to subscribe. We're trying to get to 100 million subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. There's some videos on the screen. Wow, what the hell? And you could click these videos right now? What? That was so cringy. Oh, but it's gonna stay like that. Good. <laughs>